Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to solve our first problem where we're trying to calculate the moment about a specific axis. So here we have this problem here where we have a cube. You can think of this black thing as being a wooden or a metal cube in three-dimensional space. The far corner at the bottom we've defined to be the origin, x, y, and z coming out from there. And we have some dimensions on this cube, 12 inches high, uh, 9 inches deep, 15 inches in width like this. And so then we have a force. That force is actually anchored at the origin, which is the far corner on the bottom. And it's angled up towards this corner. So this force is in the plane of the left-hand side at 450 pounds oriented like this. And we want to figure out what is the scalar component of the moment at point B, but about the line BC. So first of all, break the problem into two parts conceptually. First of all, we can figure out what this moment is at point B very simply. That's what we've been doing in the previous lessons. What you have to do is define R and F uh, here, and you can find the moment developed at point B. I mean, if you think about it, you've got some, uh, uh, some kind of uh, rope or something tied there, and then you're pulling on it. So of course, the box is tending to rotate. Uh, and if you put a nail or kind of anchor this corner in here, then of course if you try to take the other corner and pull it this way, it's going to try to spin the box around. So we can calculate what that moment is. And in fact, if you think about it, um, the R vector, since this is the anchor point, it's going to go from here all the way to where the force is being applied. So this is going to be R pointing this way, and then your force is tending to rotate it. So if you think about it, if you pull this corner, you're going to try to rotate the box like this. If you have some kind of cube, it would be trying to rotate it like this, and that means your thumb is pointing in the Y direction. So just from not even really doing any calculations, just looking at how the force is oriented and the anchor point here, and you can see that the moment develops since this force is in the plane, in the ZX plane here, the moment is going to be uh, pointing in the Y direction, the positive Y direction. But the problem isn't just asking us what is the moment developed at point B. That would be a, an earlier type of problem. What it's asking is what is the component of the moment at point B about the line BC. So clearly if I see the box is rotating like this, then the box is tending to do something like this, purely in the y direction. But we want to find out what is the component of that moment that lies along this arbitrary line denoted or de uh, defined by BC. So I told you before, you can figure out the component of the moment, which means how much of the rotation is happening along a certain line. Here that line is defined by BC. So clearly the thing's going to be rotating about y. We could define some component or some portion of it that would be rotating along this oblique line BC.